You are most welcome to Kerry Royal Channel. Let have a recap of the Denmark royal family and their famous history. The monarchy has a constitutional institution and a historic office of the Kingdom of Denmark. The kingdom includes Denmark proper and the autonomous territories of the Faroe Islands and Greenland. Did you know the Kingdom of Denmark was already consolidated in the 8th century? whose rulers are consistently referred to in Frankish sources and in some late Frisian sources as kings, reges, under the rule of King Gudford in 804, the kingdom may have included all the major provinces of medieval Denmark, the current unified kingdom of Denmark was founded or reunited by the Viking kings Gorm the Old and Harald Bluetooth in the 10th century, originally an elective monarchy. It became hereditary only in the 17th century, during the reign of Frederick III. A decisive transition to a constitutional monarchy occurred in 1849. With the writing of the first democratic constitution, replacing the vast majority of the old absolutist constitution, the current royal house is a branch of the Dussel House of Glucksburg, originally from Schleswig-Holstein in modern-day Germany, the House of Glucksburg itself being a collateral branch of the House of Oldenburg. The House of Glucksburg also produced the monarchs of Norway, of Great Britain, and the former monarch of Greece in the direct male line. The Danish monarchy is constitutional, and as such, the role of the monarch is defined and limited by the Constitution of Denmark, according to the Constitution, the ultimate executive authority over the government of Denmark is still by and through the monarch's royal reserve powers. In practice, these powers are only used according to laws enacted in Parliament or within the constraints of convention. The monarch is, in practice, limited to non-partisan functions, such as bestowing honors and formally appointing the prime minister, the monarch and his or her immediate family, undertake various official, ceremonial, diplomatic and representational duties. Queen Margaret II ascended the throne on the death of her father, King Frederick IX, on 14 January 1972. On her accession, Queen Margaret II became the first female monarch of Denmark since Margaret I, ruler of the Scandinavian countries in 1375-1412. During the Kalmar Union, Danish renowned names have traditionally, since 1513, alternated between Frederick, Frederick and Christian, Margaret has taken the place of a Christian, and accordingly, her heir apparent is Crown Prince Frederick, thanks for watching and God. Bless you.